Hello everyone, welcome to In the Kitchen with Tazebuds Angie. On today's show, I will be showing you how to make G Miracle. G Miracle is an Igbo delicacy from the eastern part of Nigeria. Literal translation of G Miracle would mean yum in hot water. But in reality, it isn't yum in hot water. It is actually any protein of your choice cooked in very delicious broth. So, if you do not have an authentic Nigerian pepper soup recipe, this is your opportunity to have an authentic Nigerian pepper soup recipe from the eastern part of Nigeria. I will be making today's yum, uh, today's pepper soup with some yum cubes and of course some dried fish. I am craving dried fish today. But you can make it with turkey, chicken, goat meat, bush meat, whatever protein that you would like or whatever protein that is readily available in your refrigerator. So pay close attention to the names of the spices that I will be using and how you can use them. As we get along with the cooking, I will be introducing you to some alternatives if you happen to be living outside of Nigeria and you do not have this spices readily available. So, ignore the background sound. We are in the festive season. There's a lot of cooking, clanking of pots, rustling and running back and forth in the industrial kitchen, which is attached to this cook studio. So, just listen to the sound of my voice. And together, we are gonna be learning something interesting and something new today. So, we are in our own winter season here in Nigeria. This time of the year, when we have a lot of dust, the weather gets windy, it gets dry, and it gets cold. So you will be needing some sort of comfort soup. The way you have your comfort soup in Europe or in the States, you have your carrot soup, your mushroom soup, your lentil soup, and so on and so forth. That is how we have our own pepper soup recipe here. It is our comfort soup, and it is particularly helpful for the new mom because it is said to be medicinal. The spices used in this pepper soup recipe is said to be medicinal for the new mom or the lactating mom. So it is a comfort soup. It is a medicinal soup that helps the new mom to heal. And it is very soothing at this time of the year. Plus, it is super delicious. So let's get on with the cooking. Now, before we start cooking, I'd like to introduce you to all of the ingredients that we are going to be using in the preparation of my gene miracle recipe. Remember, it is an authentic Nigerian pepper soup recipe from the eastern part of Nigeria. So I have here my dried catfish, which is the, uh, the protein of today. Remember, you can use any type of protein that you like. I'm using two whole dried catfish. I'm gonna be washing them properly in warm water after now. I'm gonna start with my spices. This is the Uda spice. This Uda spice is very medicinal. It has loads of medicinal properties, which I'm not gonna bore you with. It is very common in different parts of Nigeria, especially in the Eastern part. So this is Uda seed, also known as alligator dried pepper, alligator pepper. We have here Yakapod. This is very common in the Igbo, parts of Nigeria, also in the Efe, Kalkwaibom regions, Delta states. I think the entire Niger Delta uses this Uyayak for different uh, types of dishes. But on today's recipe, I am using a portion of this for my pepper soup recipe. Now we have the African uh, nutmeg galabash. The name here is Ehiri. It is known as Ehiri in the Igbo tribe. 
and I don't know what they call it in other tribes, but we know it as ahiri seeds. I'm going to be roasting this on the fire and then I will be blending it in my food processor. I'll be using about uh, four to five seeds, which will give me about a tablespoonful of ahiri spice. So I have here my red onions, which I'm going to be blending. I have here my red scotch bonnet pepper. Feel free to top it up or bring down the heat by using one or two of this. And I'm going to be using this for flavoring. And yeah. this is chow leaves in Igbo land, known as Efiri, in Yoruba land, and is a species of the basil uh, herbs. You have basil overseas, but here, this, we don't know it as basil, we call it nchao or efiri. And we have the utazi leaf that has a slight after bitter taste. I'm gonna be using it today as a form of flavoring and as well as a garnish. So this is all that we're gonna be using in cooking the soup. And this, of course, is my yam. This is the yam that I will be cooking in the broth of the soup. Now, you can choose to cut those yams in tiny cubes and leave them permanently in the soup. And when you're ready to eat, you can eat them with the yam cubes. And you can choose to cut them in four large chunks. And when the soup is ready, you can bring it out and sprinkle, or rather drizzle, a generous amount of fresh palm oil on it and have it on the side and while you're eating your soup on the side it is delicious so let's get on with the preparation of all of these ingredients and then everything is going to be put in the pot and we can begin with today's cooking I'm not using more than four Uda sticks because the Uda sticks are they can be very hot and they have an after bitter taste so this is how you know it's fresh. Look at it, look at the pods. Let me show you look at the pods, it's very fresh. You can immediately perceive the delicious aroma. You know, this is going to boil in our soup and then we can leave it for the entire uh, period of the cooking and even afterwards you can still leave it in the pot, in your pepper soup pot. So, it is time to put everything into our stock pot and start cooking. I'm using this 5 liter quart pot in today's cooking, put about three liters of water. I'm starting with my blended onions, red onion, blended red onion, scotch bonnet pepper, put as much as you can tolerate. This should suffice for me. Ahiri seeds, about one tablespoon of ahiri seed, blended. Remember you, we, uh, you have to wash this before cutting it out and then pounding it. I'm gonna throw this so it can start giving off its flavor. And this is the way I have poured the one we pounded just now. Remember I pounded four, so I just threw it in together with the pounded Uyayak poured. So that's right in there. You can omit this if you do not want to put seasoning cubes, but I'm just putting two cubes of my beef seasoning cube. I'm putting half a level teaspoon of salt, half a level teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of crawfish, blended crawfish. It's just going to help the one and a half, it's going to help the flavor of the dried fish to come out really strong. Half teaspoon of Cameroon pepper, just to give it a hot kick 
taste, that flavorful, spicy, aromatic taste we get in our native soup. Remember, this has sticks, herbs, roots. We want it to give off its flavor in the broth before we introduce our dried fish. So let's give it 15 minutes, okay? While this is boiling away, I'm going to chop my fresh herbs for the garnish. Now, our broth has properly boiled and it's time to introduce the dried fish into this. This is our washed dried catfish. Remember, you have to wash it properly. I'll put a link in one of my videos where I show how to properly wash dried fish. But this particular dried fish is processed here in our food company Taste Buds NG. We process fresh, uh, we process from fresh catfish to very dried catfish and we export across the globe. Whatever country that you're resided in, we can export dried catfish to you. We take care in the proper cleaning of all of our dried fish. So you see, we really don't have dirt in this. It's super clean already and properly dried. So if you want dried catfish to be exported to you, do let us know and we will get it to you. So these are my yam cubes already. These are my yam cubes washed and cut. I soak them in water so it doesn't get discolored. Remember, you can have them in very tiny cubes like this. Okay? But I want them in this large chunks because after I am done cooking, I want to be serving it with a drizzling of bread palm oil. I'm going to be showing you how I will be doing this. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> Remember to always use a big stock pot. A cylindrical shaped stock pot is better. So that way all your ingredients like your dried fish, your yams get cooked in the broth of the soup. It all gets submerged in the broth of the soup without you having to put excessive water in your pot. So it is time. The whole broth is going to be covering the soup. If I had used a smaller pot, or no, if I had used a wider pot, I would not have been able to achieve this. Okay, guys? So use a cylindrical pot. Oh my goodness, this is looking so pretty already. I'm going to cover this up. In the next uh, five minutes, I will be bringing out my dried fish because I do not want the dried fish to break. So I'm going to be bringing it out and then I'll leave my yam cubes to cook until it is soft and well done. Can you see? Second right fish. Ooh. Our yams should be softened at this point. Yes, 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 yes. Woo! Our Jimmy Rocco is ready. It is all ready. Now I'm going to garnish it with some of the chopped fresh herbs.
Now it is time for me to taste my G Miracle and of course my pepper soup. Let me put it in the pan oil just the way I like it. Mmm. Yummy, so soft. So soft and hot. And then I'm going to push it down with the pepper soup. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness, guys. This is absolutely, absolutely delicious. And it's perfect for the season that we're in. It's dry, it's dusty, and sometimes it gets really cold. This is super flavorful. Mmm. Oh my God. I'm just gonna dig in once I say my goodbye. So it is goodbye from In The Kitchen with Taste Buds NG. Thank you for joining in. And if you do get to try this recipe out, send me your pictures. Tell me in the comment section what you think about this recipe. Thank you for watching. And until I come your way again, keep cooking, keep baking, keep living the good life. Bye-bye.